So, what goes into the design of a robot that is suitable for a public space? Design is definitely integral to the acceptance of robots in our public spaces. And I would say we may feel like you know aesthetics are just something for beauty or it looks nice, but actually it holds a very deep psychological and emotional connection to what we deem as something that is acceptable, something that we want to have around. And that very first impression that is formed within the first few seconds of experiencing something for the first time, it's really defined by the design of a product. LionSport is a robotics company that aims to revolutionise the cleaning industry through the design and development of really innovative robots. And what we aim to do is to solve current issues such as shortage of manpower in the labour force, ageing population that you know a lot of them are subject to still doing menial tasks like cleaning. And we aim to do that through the use of technology. As head of design, my team and myself, we are responsible for the look and feel of every new robot, every line sport robot that you see. That includes not only how they look, but also in terms of the ergonomics, how people use them, how people interact with them, as well as human-robot interaction, just like the personality of the robot that you see over here. My time at SUTD, I think it really fundamentally changed the way I work and think. I was always somebody that enjoyed working with my ideas, putting things together, seeing them come to life. And I think SUTD really gave me a chance to explore that on so many different levels, across so many different disciplines. And I think with every single module having you put the concepts that they have taught into something, a real world prototype that tests out these fundamentals. I think that was something that I really enjoyed.